Inventive is essentially an equation solver, so it can handle the same types of equations or systems of equations that are typically handled in Excel or MathCAD. But what makes Inventive unique is that it also creates equations behind the scenes to represent geometry. So unlike CAD systems, which treat points and surfaces as having a specific location in space, Inventive treats geometry as systems of equations that describe how any point relates to any other point, and this allows the geometry to interact with other things. Forces, moments, friction, temperature, cost, any physical parameter that can be calculated with an equation can also interact with the geometry. In fact, Inventive's equation solving capability provides another powerful benefit. Inventive doesn't just calculate the mean value of a parameter, it also calculates a sigma value based on all of the contributors that affect that parameter. In this model, we're going to be looking at a typical tolerance stackup. This model shows a laparoscopic surgical device. First, we're going to look at the stackup between the handle and the trigger when the jaws are fully closed. A clearance condition is important in this configuration because interference would indicate that the trigger is contacting the handle first, preventing the jaws from closing fully. In this case, the lower spec limit is set to zero because a negative value would indicate interference. The tolerance report indicates that the mean value is 0.6184 and the sigma value is 0.01716. So the CPK is 1.202. The report also provides upper and lower worst case and plus and minus six sigma projections. Inventive automatically identifies all of the dimensional contributors and they are ranked by the amount of variation that they contribute. The first three contributors represent dimensions within the handle, the tube, and the actuation rod. We can perturb each contributor to visualize how its variation will affect the analyzed dimension between the trigger and the handle. Next we're going to take a look at the force analysis for this model. The product specification states that the device must provide 10 pounds of clamping force. Inventive calculates that the force on each of the two links must be 43.3 pounds and the force on the actuation rod must be 78.8. The force that the user applies to the trigger will be 28.65 pounds nominally, but we're also interested in considering the variational limits. So we'll run a tolerance analysis report for this parameter. Inventive calculates an upper worst case limit of 34.67 and a six sigma projection of 33.4. We also need to consider how variation affects the loads on the links that drive the jaws. While the nominal force is 43.3, Inventive calculates the upper worst case and Six Sigma projections to be around 57 pounds, and it would be more appropriate to use that value as the design specification for the strength of the links. Thank you for taking the time to view this video demonstrating the tolerance analysis capabilities of Inventive. If you're interested in learning more about Inventive, please visit our website at www.inventive.com.